Hawthorne is actually a hamlet. It falls under the town of Mount Pleasant. We're in the center of town, everyone comes here, we know most people, so we really feel an obligation to do the best and right thing for them all the time. We're in Westchester County, New York. It's a great place to raise your children. Everyone looks out for each other. Real good sense of community here, and we're proud to be part of it. I'm Amy Nichols, and this is my ACE story. I'm Chris Rubio, and this is my ACE story. We're always looking to improve our stores. We're always looking to make our stores better. You know, we always competed with Home Depot, other big box retailers. I don't even know that we look at them as competition, more of a different type of retailer than us. But Amazon came in and that was a big game changer for us. So we were trying to adapt and we just didn't feel like we can get any further with our co-op that we were with at the time. We all know what's happening with Amazon and online shopping and that was the biggest part that we were concerned with for the future was how does a local hardware store stay relevant in that realm so that's why we started looking felt ace where they were at and what their plans were for the future were really going to give us a chance to compete with those things we converted in the end of 2017 we converted both stores at the same time we also remodeled both stores we did that all within a year's time the initial concern was if it was still going to be Burger Hardware. This store has been here since 1937. It's got a terrific name when it comes to customer service. And the reason why is because they have the same logic, same theories, same outlook on handling the customers each and every day, each and every transaction. It's the best move that we could have made. One of the first things we did was really starting to dive into the data and trying to match these SKUs and do some pre-work. We worked on things like pricing. We worked on things like store planning. The support was great. They had the merchandising team here, uh, meetings weekly. If it needed to be daily, it was daily. If we called and said we needed extra help doing X, Y, and Z, we got it. Probably my biggest concern really was the staff, just keeping everybody happy and not being stressed going through the process. And um, there's, there's a lot of things to line up to make it go smoothly, but we had a lot of help along the way from ACE to do it. The process was easier than what it could have been. When you're transitioning a whole store, it can be extremely difficult. The team that they sent in was extremely flexible, worked with us, we knew what they were doing. There's always a plan, and to me, that goes a long way. At the end of the day, Ace had the brand recognition. They had the buying power that we were looking for, and there was a certain kind of culture within the company that we really liked and that we felt that we wanted to be part of and it aligned with our values here and how we operate our businesses. I always feel like they're fighting the fight for us and we really appreciate that. We really appreciate that they're on our team and to help us along the way. For us to have a chance to survive and do well for ourselves, this had to be done. You'd be doing yourself and your business a disservice by not at least looking into it. My advice to anyone looking to convert would be to do your research, do your due diligence so you're comfortable with the decision you make, but don't wait. There's no reason to wait. Our biggest regret is that we just didn't do it sooner.